The next one, of course, being Aster's truck. Why Aster? I'm not too sure, but I'll tell you one thing. Uh, this is an unlucky skeleton. Obviously hit something, though not obvious what, and uh, went straight through the window and probably died in the process. And it seems that rather than move his body, the people kind of set up barricades around him and used him as a bit of a human shield. That's... you're probably understanding why I called it Aster's truck now. Because some Aster grows beside him. Wow! You, previous me was quite smart with that. Also, if you want to see Aster in normal lighting conditions, let's press a button and voila! We have the magnificent... Like, remove... If you remove the fog entirely, which I wish was a complete option, um, like just in the end game, just to let you explore and enjoy the island, the fog kind of remains, and I'm like, boo. There are mods that remove it, but you know, it would have been nice of an in-game feature to kind of do that. Uh, yes, it adds to the ambience. Yes, in your first playthrough, it's really cool. Yes, until Dima's Memories, it's a good game until it's just, uh, Do you know what? It's been that long since I've done Dima's Memories. I would maybe almost enjoy it. Probably not. But uh, yeah, let's head on up the road and see what other things we can find. Thank you for watching.